Alright, what the hell is good? We are back with another PlayStation 4 modding video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be going over a couple of things on non-jailbroken PlayStation 4s and also jailbroken PlayStation 4s. I'm currently on my non-jailbroken PlayStation 4 at the moment, but we are going to be switching over to one uh, pretty soon here in a little bit. I just want to go over a couple of things and try out a new kind of video. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy this. I just want to talk about a couple of things with modding and stuff like that for you guys who are uh, wondering and are new to this kind of stuff. I want to explain to you guys how this stuff works i do uh, feel like this might be entertaining as well so hopefully it is for you guys uh, if you guys do end up enjoying this video at all please drop a like i would highly appreciate that and if you guys are looking for more uh playstation 4 modding videos subscribe to the channel i'd appreciate that as well but uh, that's pretty much it let's go ahead and hop right into this video so like i said i am on a non jailbroken playstation 4 at the moment so like right now i'm basically i'm signed in i could play online and i can't do anything that has to do with modding so this is pretty much any console at this point in 2020 it's pretty much if you buy a console right now from like GameStop or something do people even use GameStop so if you order a PlayStation 4 like on Amazon or whatever it is you go into GameStop or Best Buy and you buy a PlayStation 4 there is literally like a 90% chance it's going to be an updated console which means you could just plug it in just get right online right when you plug in the console and set everything up it's already going to be updated now if it's not going to be updated it's definitely going to be on a higher update version to where you're not able to jailbreak so if you do want to jailbreak your consoles you have to be on a non-updated playstation 4 like the console has to never be updated so if we go into settings right now let's hop into my settings like i said this is my non jailbroken playstation 4 uh this is like nothing to do with modding on this console so let's go ahead into system from here and then just click on system information. So at this point, if you were to buy a PlayStation 4 right now off Amazon or literally anywhere, it's going to be uh, version 7.50 or uh, maybe like version 6. Point whatever. It's probably going to be in the 6s maybe, but either way, you're still not going to be able to mod the console. You need a PlayStation 4 that's on version 5.05 .05 or lower than that, and that's pretty hard to find. Uh, I mean, if you're not trying to buy one on eBay, that's pretty much the only place to get those kind of consoles. So uh, like I said, if you go and buy one right now, it's just not going to let you mod the console. There's no way you're going to be able to mod it. So if I load up uh, the internet browser here as if I were to do on a jailbroken console and we load into the exploit page which I'm going to type in right now so let's go ahead I have a screenshot here so I am going to go ahead and type in the URL once it lets me there we go all right so let me go ahead and type in this URL I have screenshotted here to where it would bring me to an exploit page to be able to mod games if I were on a jailbroken PlayStation 4 and I'm going to show you guys what happens if you do this on a legitimate PlayStation 4 so let me go ahead and type this in real quick okay so there we go let's go ahead and click on go so let's just hit search and this is what would come up if you were to search any kind of exploit page you see someone load on YouTube with a jailbroken PlayStation 4. If you go to any of my recent videos that have to do with GTA 5 modding, uh, I go into an exploit page to load GTA 5 mod menus. And if you were to screenshot the browser I was at and you were to do it exactly what I just did, which I'm pretty sure most people do just out of curiosity to see if it would even load for them. But this is what would come up if you are on a PS4 that is not able to be jailbroken. So if you click on any of these, nothing will happen. And the page will just never load so uh yeah that's literally what happens if, if you try to enter an exploit page uh, or if you want to call it a jailbroken menu on a legitimate playstation 4 or an updated playstation 4 this is literally what just happens nothing will load so let me go ahead and close out of here and we are actually going to switch over to one of my jailbroken playstation 4s and i'm going to access the internet browser the same thing i just did on that console now i'll show you guys what would come up on there so let me go ahead i have to switch over consoles let me just do this real quick okay so we're now on my jailbroken playstation 4 and uh, as you can see i'm not even signed into the playstation network because you actually can access the PlayStation Network or online features on a jailbroken PlayStation 4 simply because the console has never been updated. So we went to the settings and checked the system version on my legitimate PlayStation 4, which was 7.50. So if we do that on here, it's going to be 5.05. .05. So let's head into system, system information, and there we go. It's 5.05. .05. So if you were to order a PlayStation 4 right now off of Amazon or whatever website you want to order from, uh, it will just come updated. It will be on version 6. 
six point something or higher and you won't be able to jailbreak the console the highest system software uh, version it has to be on for you to be able to jailbreak is 5.05 which i'm on right now so uh yeah if you're not on this firmware or lower you cannot jailbreak so like i was saying let's go ahead and enter inside of the internet browser here and we my exploit page actually saves so we don't have to actually type in the whole exploit page and as you guys can see it just loads perfectly fine for me because i'm on that jailbroken playstation 4 so right now if i were to load up gta 5 uh like a gta 5 mod menu it won't even load because i'm not in the jailbroken state yet for the console since i just turned it on so for every jailbroken playstation 4 consoles you have to enable hen which is right here this is basically the jailbreak pretty much so let's just go ahead and activate hen so we are able to load up mods and stuff like that so there we go hen is loaded we could just back out of here hit the home button go back into the internet browser and at this point our playstation 4 is technically fully jailbroken now we can do anything that has to do with modding or uh, exploiting and everything like that so we can now go into the the GTA 5 mod menus folder and we can load a mod menu and actually play the game which I will end up doing right now so let's load up the Lamance menu and uh, it's just as easy as that you just click on the mod menu you want to use and just wait for it to load so Lamance loaded 5.05 please launch GTA 5 so my GTA is not even actually in my console yeah it's not so let me go ahead and put the disc in so there we go we have the disc in now and I want to say it's pretty cool how this stuff does work I was watching a lot of jailbroken PlayStation 4 videos before I got my jailbroken PS4s and uh, now that I have it it's just so cool to have even though you can't go online there's really no point of it to go online anyway it's just like it, it ruined the whole online community if online was available for these consoles and uh, I do want to get that out of the way as well is if you guys come across a playstation 4 modder on youtube and he's modding online with a jailbroken playstation 4 or if he's claiming he's on a jailbroken playstation 4 he's obviously lying there's no way uh, a jailbroken playstation 4 can get online right now you can't mod gta 5 online he's definitely going to be on pc so uh, i just want to get that out of the way for you guys do not get scammed please i just i can't stress that enough if someone is modding online and they say they're on the playstation 4 or xbox one it's 100% not true they're literally lying and I don't see a purpose for that but anyways we have Lamance mod menu loaded so let's just go ahead and load up GTA 5 now uh, so we have a cool menu that pops up as you guys can see right there uh, we got a notification that shows the mod menu name and how to open it which is kind of cool I'm not gonna lie so uh, it did say press right in the d-pad and square to open the menu so there we go we are now inside of the mod menu and we are still obviously on the PlayStation 4 I'll show you guys right now so let's go back in the game there we go the menu is still here I didn't switch over to PC a lot of you guys think I switch over to PC when I have the mod menu loaded but we do have the mod menu on the playstation 4 i'll even show you guys again but uh yeah it's pretty cool it does work everything all the menus and uh, all the options in this menu work as well it's literally a full functioning menu uh, let's go ahead and change our model i guess we'll just change to an alien uh so it's pretty cool i'm not gonna lie let's go ahead and do a money drop i guess i know some of you guys want to see that or most of you guys so let's go ahead and uh, make it rain and there we go we have a money drop and we could collect it as well which is kind of cool i have like two billion already on these characters i gave all the story mode characters like two bill plus i don't know why but they now have all that money for no reason pretty much because i never even really play a uh, gta 5 story mode where i actually want things i'd rather just play online on my legitimate playstation 4 but uh yeah that's pretty much it i mean i just wanted to talk to you guys about a couple of cool things and uh, i feel like just something like this would be entertaining to watch so hopefully you guys did enjoy this we can now close out of gta i'm literally gonna switch over to my legitimate playstation 4 and play on that but yeah that's pretty much it we are gonna end this video here before i actually end this video i want to say do not get scammed if there's anybody that says they could mod playstation 4 online or xbox one online and they could give you a money drop for gta 5 you're gonna get scammed that's the most i could say to you i can't physically make you believe me i mean it's whatever you want to do so don't get scammed i'm telling you now it's not true and uh who knows when it will be true to be honest hopefully soon that would be pretty cool but it would ruin the game obviously online but uh yeah as far as right now you can't go online with a jailbroken playstation 4 but uh that's pretty much it if you guys did enjoy this video please drop a like i would highly appreciate that and if you guys are looking for more gta 5 playstation 4 modding videos subscribe to the channel i'd appreciate that as well and uh yeah that's pretty much it i will catch you guys in the next video peace out